Hello everyone! Welcome back! We are here in the Ray Valley and yes, today we are going to be testing this little shunter that you can see on your screens. But before that will happen, yes, let's uh, let's go to our usual stuff and that we do at the beginning. So hello everyone! <laughs> Hello Raliev, hello Stefanecek, uh, Railjet, Hainam, The Zen Show, hello, hello! <laughs> welcome to the stream, welcome to the stream. Today we will be driving that little shunter and hopefully we will do something useful <laughs> and productive. Right, uh, but before that will happen, Stefanecek. Uh, right, so that subtitle overhauled, uh, if I remember correctly, that was one of the biggest updates that the game received so far. Uh, I believe the next one is going to be called Simulation or Simulator, whatever that is called. Uh, but yeah, uh, Basically, right now, it's it's still D-Ray Valley. When you buy it on Steam, it's still D-Ray Valley. Uh, the same game that, that it used to be. Uh, although, yes, uh, they now updated the logo for, uh, for like, a newest patch or newest big patch. Uh, that's kind of similar to, to like, uh, what Train Sim World 2 did with uh, Rush Hour and uh, other stuff. So they had separate logos for that. Uh, speaking of Train Sim World, uh, yes, I've seen the announcement of Train Sim World 3. And <laughs> uh, I, I can only comment in one way. It's it's just a money grab. That, that, that's what it is. Uh, so, yeah, I... <sighs> I don't think English Dictionary has good enough words to describe uh, what Dovetail did with that. Uh, but yeah, it's... it's <sighs> One part of me is tempted to buy it, uh, but on the other hand, I've seen the prices and I don't think that this will hold the quality to, to the standards that I'm willing to pay for. Uh, so... I don't know, uh, definitely, well, or most likely, uh, I, I won't buy it at the release date, uh, but I will definitely consider that later. Yeah, it's it's just overpriced DLC, in, in my opinion. Like, game engine didn't change, uh, all they added basically is one maybe two routes uh yeah i i believe those are two new routes uh the good thing is that uh, all your dlcs will roll over from train sim world 2 to train sim world 3 uh, but <sighs> come on give me a break chat what is the release price uh 40 pounds uh, I, I believe yeah it's it's like a 40 pounds or 50 dollars uh, or any other equivalent that that you would pay in your local currency uh, so yeah it's it's rather expensive two new routes and extension yeah like i'm really tempted by that uh what is that ice one uh, definitely that's uh, that's probably the most tempting part of train sim world 3 uh, but the rest i don't know i i, I really don't know uh, dynamic weather is is really nice. Uh, that's that's definitely something that people were looking for. Uh, so yeah, uh, I I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy it uh, at the release date. I, I'm still trying to wage my options and, and look at this. Uh, perhaps I will look at one of the post-release versions. I believe you will be uh, people will be able to buy. A version with only a route that they are interested in and I will think about that German route uh, because it is gonna be long it is gonna be long that's uh, like 118 985 kilometers long but that's that's kind of a distance to be honest 
Uh, but yeah, uh, I, I I don't really look forward to train some wall three. Uh, not as much as some people might do. Anyway, uh, we are not here. To discuss train sim world, uh, we are here to play Dire Valley. Uh, so let's hop into the game. Uh, 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 there we go. Perfect. Uh, the Zinchel. Uh, I don't think the Ray Valley will ever come to consoles. Although, maybe at one point. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm not part of development team, so you would have to ask on their Discord. Right. Chat. We got this bad boy too. To try. I have to say it's a really well modeled locomotive. Um, whoever is a member of my Discord, uh, you should have access to D Ray Valley channel. And actual author of, of the mod uh, posted it uh, on my Discord. And so that's that's the result of, of his hard work, and I have to say really nice looking locomotive fits the game really well i i have to say that it fits the game really really well uh, it also comes with some custom liveries uh, so technically with proper mods installed uh, we can actually reskin that to let's say zigop uh, that's that's a really nice skin uh, a cellar metal, yeah, that's that's also a nice skin. Uh, what is that? Uh, the GOP. Uh, we we've looked at that. Uh, Yugoslavian railways. Uh, oh, I I I actually like that. I actually like this one. And uh, uh, uh. ooh, ooh, that's a really nice color. And that's Slovenia uh, railways. Yeah, that's that's really really good. Uh, what else do we have? And that's Croatia, uh, which was the one that that was loaded at first. Uh, so let's go. Uh, no, not GG. Uh, uh, I believe that was no, not Slovenian. Uh, which one was the one that I liked? Croatia? Nah. Oh my goodness me. Ah, there we go. That's the one. Perfect. Yes, the blue one is is really nice. Uh, let's let's keep it color orange <laughs> Gergo Puskas, hello, welcome to the stream I hope you will have a great time today and Alex, uh, hello, welcome welcome right, chat uh, before we start this bad boy uh, let's give ourselves some goals uh, wait there, there used to be a station office somewhere here ah, there it is Okay, uh, so since we are at Harbour and Town, uh, we should have some hunt, uh, shunting jobs. Although we can also take this train for a spin and, and like go for a longer route. And that would take us to City Southwest, uh, which is... There. Um, do I want to go to City Southwest? No, not really. Uh, that goes to Machine Factory in town uh, at Settilen. Um, hmm. Really tempting, but I don't think I'm gonna make it in 49 minutes with this shunter. It's just too slow. Uh, no. Uh, that's that would be. Uh, where is that going? Goods Factory in town. 28 minutes. Uh, not a chance. And that's. 
I think that will be too heavy, Chad. Uh, 223 tons uh, to city southwest. Uh, that's a proposal that could be taken. Uh, goods factory in town. Uh, hmm. Krugman Electronics. Uh, uh, not too heavy, but we got only 28 minutes. Chat, can we make it in 28 minutes being limited to 60 kilometers per hour? Because that's how fast this camper can go. Uh, perhaps uh, let's let's leave it for later. Uh, let's focus on some shunting. Uh, so we got this job. Uh, is there any other? Uh, and we got this job. Ooh, and we got this one. I see. So those are pretty nice jobs. Uh, this one uh, contains three pickups. I think we can do that. And it pays really well. Yeah, yeah, Chad. We're gonna do this. Uh, the Zen Show. Uh, you can check out my PC specs in the description of the stream. Uh, I, I posted it there. Right. Uh, what are we looking for? Uh, HP SL59. Okay, let's check out where the wagons are. Page. Nope, uh, that's definitely not the one that I'm looking for. I believe that's my... No, that's a page. Ooh. Uh, SU. Nope. Nope. Ooh. Let's go to this part. I believe we might find the wagons that we are looking for somewhere in here. SL-59 SL-59 Okay, so that's one of the wagons SU-82 Okay, so we got one of the wagons here uh, Where might be the other ones? Uh, that's definitely not the ones that I'm looking for Okay. Uh. Ah, there they are. Well hidden. I'm I'm fairly sure those will be L868. Wait a minute. No, nope, that's a self 59. Oh dear lord. Chat, finding my wagons will be a challenge. Where are they? Oh my dear lord. I found one so far. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And there's nothing here? Flammable explosive. Ah, that's, that's acetylene. SU-36. Oh my, where are those wagons? FH-85. Ah, that will be empty platforms. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, okay. So that's LH24. No, that's not the one that I'm looking for. LH24. Nope. SL59. So all that is going with me.
LH78. So that's not the one that I'm looking for. SL59, there we go. Another three platforms, and that will probably be SL59. Okay. So everything is on those three sidings. And how do we want to build it? Uh, I see. Oops, uh, I got stuck. Okay, we'll start from that bit. Yeah, we'll pick up this one first. CRF 113. Okay, so I need this junction. Might do this junction. Definitely this junction. This one is set, and we are pretty much ready. Uh, the Zen Show, uh, how much does it cost? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, it's been done over time, but... Probably about 2,500 pounds in total, if I would count all the spendings over the year. Well, over a few years, to be honest, uh, because I've been building that PC in parts. Right, anyway, chat, we are in. That's the insides of this locomotive. There are some issues, uh, but, well, it's a modded one, so don't expect it to be perfect. It looks okay. Uh, how much in US dollars? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. You would have to check it with Google. Uh, I won't be taking a guess, but probably around 3,000 US dollars. Uh, looking at exchange rates that I remember last. So yeah, that's... That's been a bit, yes, it, it costed me a bit. Okay, let's flick all those and now we should be ready. Work crack. Perfect. Is there anything else that I need to switch, change, or, or whatever? I think we are ready, chat. There we go. That's a loud one, isn't it? All right. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, I believe we need to move it here. Uh, let's do Hong. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Reverse her forwards. And we can slowly light power as you can see chat it's not the fastest locomotive ever We're gonna get there. Okay, we can now let it coast. It holds speed pretty nicely. Uh, we can check uh, the brake gauges here. Although... They work a bit weird, to be honest. Uh, because... One of them will, re uh, will react only to... Uh, locomotive brake and the other one will react only to train brake uh, which doesn't seem correct although that would have to be checked with 
the mod out there. Hopefully he has a bit more knowledge about this specific locomotive. Eh, come on. Oh, that, that's too much power. Oh dear lord. Uh, right, definitely some work needs to be done about that power control. Okay, but I'm going a bit fast. Let's apply some brakes. That's still a bit fast. There we go, that should do. There we go, perfect. Okay, uh, let's connect you. Perfect, chat. First part of our train is now assembled. Yeah. Let's give it a minute. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah. The compressor is pretty slow on this one. Uh, but I believe... We should have enough pressure. Change the reverser. Now let's pull it. Okay, so far this locomotive is doing pretty well. Uh, the question is, can I actually... Uh, no, uh, uh, locomotive remote. Uh, the question is, can I... Ooh. Can I actually pair it? It works. Chat. That's a well made mod. And on top of that, you don't have to spawn this locomotive. Uh, manually. It spawns on its own randomly which is even better uh, and it's a separate model you don't need specific like separate license for it uh, I believe it's it works with DE2 license but that's really nice that uh, additional rolling stock or locomotives are made so that they will spawn on their own so you can randomly find them. And that's not the only locomotive that I installed recently. Uh, so hopefully, later on, when we will be doing some freight hauls, uh, we will get a chance to find other models that I installed. Okay. Throttle. 
As you can see, it's very slow locomotive. On, on notch two. On notch two, it managed to reach only 10 kilometers per hour. Okay, uh, let me just set the switches. Uh, we will pick up... Yeah, let's let's pick up that uh, boxcar first. Uh, so, reverse, train brake off. That works nice. Let's give it notch three and let's see what's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a really nice feature of uh, of the Ray Valley uh, that that you can do some crazy stuff that would normally be well not entirely legal. Train is rolling in nicely. Di Petro, hello, uh, welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time today. Uh, why? In oh, oh lord, oh lord. Uh, I forgot about this one. I oh, that was close. Uh, I almost messed up. Okay, one more time. Uh, B Petro, yes, I, I've seen it, and I'm not super excited. Although, yeah, I I mentioned about it uh, at the beginning of the stream, uh, so uh, perhaps later on uh, I will repeat myself. Uh, but in general, I I, I think that Dovetail is just making massive uh, money grab uh, with this one. And I don't really see a reason to, to release it as a separate product. But that's my opinion. Uh, some people might disagree and, and they might really like the Train Sim World 3. But I don't see the reason why they should change the name and ask people to pay additional £40 to, to actually buy it if the game doesn't really change that much. Okay, uh, no, I, this one, do I? Uh, now I'm confused which way I'm going, okay. Uh, yeah, okay, I, I'm going the wrong way. Of course. Going the wrong way. There we go. Let's do it right. There we go. Now we are rolling in. Luigi Rota, hello. Welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. Adri95, hello, welcome to the stream. Hello. <laughs> okay, we are rolling in nicely. I might do, I might do, uh, although it's not often that I really have time for anything, uh, so that's uh, that's the problem, and that's why I stream only once a week. <laughs> uh, but whenever I get some free time and, and someone is actually streaming, I'm trying to catch up with them, so 
definitely I will look into, into your streams at some point. Come on, come on, slow down. Okay, five, five seems like all right. There we go. Okay, let's hide this and let's couple that. Yes, I, I really enjoy that locomotive, to be honest. Uh, the only thing that bothers me, um, and, and there are a few things, is I believe throttle control it doesn't really it's counterintuitive when you use a uh, mouse wheel to operate it uh, so you have to roll mouse wheel backwards to increase the throttle and forwards to decrease the throttle so that's that really that was really bothering at, at the beginning uh, brakes are working really nice. I, I really like that uh, this locomotive takes a bit time, a bit of time to actually stop, uh, which is a nice touch. It doesn't really stop uh, that that quickly. Uh, what else? Uh, cab lights that might need uh, some updating. Uh, definitely, like during the night time in the game you can't really see any of these gauges absolutely uh, so definitely that needs updating uh, same goes to this panel uh, you can't really see anything on it uh, during night time uh, so it would be nice to, to see that at one point uh, from other things uh, yeah, sander button might need some label. Uh, that's that would be very useful, uh, even if it's in like Yugoslavian language or something, because uh, there's pretty much not that much in this cabin to for people to struggle with language barrier. And I think that's it. Uh, those were the main things that bothered me, at least at the beginning. Uh, also, uh, the textures of uh, of the locomotive. Uh, that is a little bit of a problem during night time uh, because they are said to be reflective. And you can actually see the difference between how this locomotive looks like and how other locomotives lo uh, will look like. Uh, although I will be able to highlight that uh, during night time in the game. Right, anyway, uh, I can use the multiple mode. Okay, now, engage train brake. Perfect. Okay, one last pickup. That will be those wagons. Right, we are rolling in. Oops, uh, that, that was a mistake. Whoa. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. Perfect. Okay, we can now apply a little bit of a train brake. Da 
that should do. Uh, reverso changes uh, the train's reverso, as, as its name states. So currently, we are set to, to reverse, um, because we are heading in this direction. Or in the direction of long hood uh, of, of this locomotive. Uh, Loco have only 600 horsepower. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, so, what's the maximum weight it can pull? Uh, I, I never, never done much uh, on this one. Uh, how does it compare to uh, the E2? Uh, can it actually pull a little bit more? are those? A late 78, so that's not the ones that I'm looking for. Okay, chat. That's our consist ready. Hundred tons. Not too bad, chat. Not too bad. So that's pretty much the same as uh, the two, uh, which is also rated at uh, four hundred tons. Go nice and steady, 11 kilometers per hour. Pretty slow speed for a shunt here. Yeah, let's, let's give it a little bit more. Well, the problem of uh, making Vectron for the Valley is that we don't really have catenary here just yet uh, so it makes well it makes some sense uh, because obviously at some point developers are supposed to electrify some of the routes uh, but I'm not sure about that idea to be honest DE4, oh yes, uh, I think I've seen that mod somewhere, uh, I'm not sure if I really installed it, uh, but I think I've seen it on Nexus mods, uh, was it there? Or maybe you just posted a screenshot somewhere, uh, but yes, that's definitely interesting uh, model, and I think I also installed one of your other models, uh, but that one is like a Yugoslavian version of the E6. Uh, so I got that one. But I haven't seen it in the game yet. I 
I also uh, I also installed ST44, but I can't get it working. Uh, I I don't know what's wrong with it. You have around four versions of the E6, mate. Uh, as soon as I stop, I will be able to tell you which one I got. That's a speed. Okay, we can now let it go. Okay, we are now on on that loading track. Uh, yeah. Twenty twenty one meter beast. Mm, nice, nice. Uh, right. Speaking of uh, of the locomotive that I got from you. Uh, 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 so this one is. Uh, Jim Buck 732, if I remember correctly. And I also got. I also got. Uh, where is that? Uh, uh, and I also got 664. But I'm not sure if it works. Because uh, I've never seen it in the game. And I can't really spawn anything using comms radio. I, I don't even have that option. So that's a bit weird. Uh, and I'm not sure if, if things are working. Uh, because apparently this one didn't spawn in the roundhouse uh, of Freight Harbor. So... So yeah, uh, if... If I remember correctly, yes, uh, the same author was uh, was listed on on both of these engines, so uh, I believe it was you. <laughs> anyway, uh, you need to unlock that in settings. Uh, how do I do that? Okay. Uh, Unlock that in settings. Uh, I, I believe not these settings, but mod settings, is it? Uh, so is that in custom car loader? Okay. Prefer custom cars to default cars when generating jobs. No uh, verbose logging. I am not sure what, what that is. Carry manager fee behavior, uh, so I decided to track all player spawned locos. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm not sure. Is that a skin manager? Uh, in skin manager. Normal settings. Uh, under the game. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, comes radio spawn mode. Oh my dear lord. Okay. I see. I see. So now I should be able to spawn her. Local shunter. 
Local steam heavy, tender, local diesel, flatbed, okay. Ah, oh, and it's... Oh dear, oh dear lord. Passenger car. I don't even install passenger cars, to be honest. Hunt car, caboose red, nuclear flask. Jembach shunter, okay. ST44, yes, chat, I finally found it. Oh dear lord. So, I also got ST44, uh, which looks pretty interesting. And we got class B664, although let me go to roundhouse. Oh, there we go. Now it's spawned on its own. Dear lord. Yes, that's that's the one. So we might test them later. Uh, and in fact, 664 should be a good locomotive to do some freight haul. Uh, so we might give it a shot later. Although, let's get back to the task. Yes, I really wish to test that one as, uh, as well. Right, did I actually accept the job? Of course not, uh, I've been too busy talking about spawning locomotives. <coughs> right. So we got this job, uh, okay, okay, we've done that, and now mm, D7L. And finally, E5, oh, okay. So we can now press the magic button to load. See you later. Thank you very much for popping in. And if I will still be live when you come back, uh, yeah, uh, feel free to, to chat. <sighs> right, speaking of chat. Uh <laughs> I'll check it out. Uh, I think you are on my Discord as, uh, already. Uh, are you? Uh, maybe. Uh, I'll I'll check it out as soon as I got a minute. Uh, right, chat. I now need to find. Uh, where is that? Harbor, uh, Harbor, where are we going? Harbor, overview. Ah, we are going to siding E and we are on siding D, is it? Yes, okay, that explains everything. Uh, so, uh, we are now going to go forward. Yes, let's release the brakes. Okay, we can put it on notch 4 without wheel slipping, which is nice. I'm not sure what those are doing, but yeah, that's definitely something that needs improvement. New loco is very strange. Why is it very strange? It is definitely very slow. 
uh, but well, Shanters doesn't have to be really fast. Okay, we are doing 16 kilometers per hour. Turtle, uh, perhaps that that would definitely be a very suiting name very suitable name Twenty-three. okay we can now let it coast Okay, we can now stop the train. Perfect. Okay, the question is where are we going? Uh, E5. Track 5. That is track 5 and it's occupied. We need to be very, very careful. Yeah, we need to be very careful. Okay, so that is set. Uh, locomotive remote. Let's put it in the reverse. Let's release train brake. And off we go. You can probably hear a helicopter in the background. Because uh, there is one flying over my house at the moment. There we go, chat. We are rolling in. Yeah, this locomotive is really, really slow. Okay, now let's 
apply some brakes. Not too much. Ooh, that was almost right timing. Let's give it a bit more throttle. Just to push the strength in. Come on, come on. Okay, and that should do. Let me apply full brakes. Just a few more minutes. Okay, that should do. And now we can disconnect it. Perfect. Okay, that's the job done. Uh, we can now collect the bonus. And uh, that's one thing about... Uh, that's one nice thing about shunting. Is that you can pretty much do entire work before accepting the job. And you will always pocket a bonus. Uh, let's now have a look at the piece. Okay, not too bad. Running this locomotive is not that expensive. Uh, 4,000 uh, for a single job if I would use repair service. Well, if I would use uh, that repair service. I, I, I believe that's the brakes released. There we go. Yeah, it's definitely not the fastest uh, engine in the game. But I actually like it. I, I really like it. Let's see how fast we can go. Okay, 45, not too bad chat, not too bad. Oh, okay, that, that might be too fast for for this bend. Ooh. Oh dear lord. Okay. Oh, it looked more scary than it was. That's not where I wanted to go. 
There we go. Uh, but we can still do it, chat. We can still do it. Let's service this bad boy. And then we will try another one. This time we will try 664, which I have absolutely no clue how to start to begin with. And we will try a freight hall. I, I think that would be the best course of action. Oh dear lord. Come on, speed up a little bit. I would really like to see that lever being fixed. That's definitely the first thing that needs to happen. By the way, I think this thing has working doors somewhere. Ah, yes, the doors are here and... Oh. You can't open them from this side. Well, you can open them from inside. Oh. Seriously. Okay, so that's another thing that needs fixing. Uh, them doors they shouldn't reset to default position as soon as you get out uh, but it's nice uh, that Adri made them impenetrable object uh, so you can't just walk through them you have to open them if you want to get out but as soon as you get out they close and you can't really open them so yeah when that gets fixed, I would say the model is absolutely completed if if other issues are fixed as well. Uh, I'm not sure about the lights yet, uh, because I haven't really used this locomotive at night. Uh, but when you turn on the lights, if they actually light up, uh, yeah, I, I would say the model is complete. Uh, we will have to look at this one uh, but what I'm gonna do uh, uh, since I'm already here uh, clear uh, yes yes please uh, right I need that empty space uh, for this shunter and we will use this one which spawned on its own anyway so uh, let's have a look Uh, perhaps it would be wise. Yeah, it, it would probably be wise. Uh, 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 to turn off the engine before I will do something with, with fuel. And there we go. This this way we have to pay only two grand. That's that's acceptable. There we go. 
and the locomotive is now serviced. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, two grand for uh, for me taking it out of the shed before the stream, uh, parking it on that siding where we found it, then do shunting job. Yeah, it's it's not too bad when it comes to fuel usage. It used a little bit of oil, uh, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, I'm not sure about sand. Are we missing any sand? Uh, oh, we are missing some sand as well. Uh, but that's probably me turning on sander uh, accidentally. Uh, I haven't really used that much sand. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, added bonus. Okay, okay, okay. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Uh, let me just... Uh, where's that wallet? There we go. Let me just pay that as well. And that was only $70. Perfect, perfect. Right, chat. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now... I need to park this bad boy in here. So we can pull out the big guy. Okay, so let me turn that on. Oh dear lord, uh, as soon as I serviced it. All of these went out. Uh, Okay, now all the pieces are on. There we go. Now it's working. Uh, no, I, I'm going forward. No, I, I said I'm going forward. And it's probably easier to drive this thing when the brakes are off. go and let me just turn it and now we can park it Just a bit more. And that should do. Let me just turn it off. Why there are so many fuses? Perfect. I, I'm stuck. Okay, so this one's parked. Now, what I'm gonna do, chat, I will take a very, very short break. And then we'll try 664. Yeah. 
That sounds like a plan.
<sighs> all right chat i'm back i'm back uh, sorry to keep you all waiting but we are back and now we will try to start this bad boy are you excited i surely am uh right uh, how do i Ooh. okay that that's not the way i want to do it I believe we will have to use something here. Uh, doesn't work. Okay, uh, I, I don't want to break it. I probably already broke it. But that works nice. Uh, that looks pretty much the same as interior of the E6. So that's nice. Uh, I, I think I will be able to to work with it. Um, although, yeah, you can see that there's not too much details, and windows might need some work. And these gauges are these. Okay. Okay. We'll work with it. We'll definitely work with it. And uh, that's a fuse box, and I believe we need to flick them all on. So that's that. I, I broke something. Eh, eh. There we go. Stay. Nope, that's not how it works. Uh, so definitely I don't want to turn that on. I don't know what that is. Uh, maybe this one. Okay, uh, these are probably lights. And I don't know why did I turn on the lights, uh, but we'll get there. We'll get there, chat. Hmm. How do I turn you on? I don't think that worked. No, that doesn't work. So that's okay. These are still still on. That doesn't work. Oh, we got working wipers. That doesn't work. Uh, how do I turn you on? I can turn these off. Okay. Hmm. That's a good question. There is something on the other side. Any doors that I can open? 
Nope. Okay, okay. Well, I definitely have the fuses on. That doesn't work. Uh, okay. Anything else? No, th there's nothing else that I can actually... do in here uh, any other doors that I can open no not really uh, definitely nothing in here nope oh and now I killed the fierce Oh, now I killed both fuses. Well, both. All of them. Okay, now this is closed. Nope. I see, so this one also has dual cap. Okay, but how do I turn it on? doesn't look like there is any any switch or anything that I could use to turn this locomotive on oops I, I fell down Now I killed the fuses, okay. So this button does something and it kills the fuses. That's not what I want. Okay, so I got that part correctly. Come on, close. There we go. Now we can use this one and perhaps this one. Nope. Hmm. are still on.
Huh, that's weird, chat, that's weird. I can't see anything in here. Oops. Well, Adri definitely wasn't lying when he said it's complicated. There's definitely something that I'm missing. That's the only fuse box. Oh, and, and now I killed the fuse. Now I... And now I didn't kill the fuse. That's interesting. <coughs> okay. I'm fairly sure that this is gonna be starter, uh, but... I'm still missing something. Okay. That is still not working. Hmm. Chat, any ideas? That's going to be Sunder. Must be something here on the back. Did I just? No. Now I killed the main fuse. Now I killed it again. Oops. Uh. I see, I see, I, I got no clue how to start it. Is there anything on the top? No. This side? Nope. Hmm. 
Okay, fuses are still on. So that's a good sign. But I'm still missing something. Come on. Not sure what that thing is doing, to be honest. Nope. Hmm. Oh, okay. These two switches came back to to normal position. Oh, and now these uh, turned off. Oh, dear lord. Okay, so I got that part done. But that doesn't work. How do I start it? That's a good question. That is a really good question. One more time. Okay, now that works. Oh, I see, chat. I see. So I first need to switch those two, and then the main fuses. Otherwise, things won't work. That sounds really nice. Okay, but I don't like the fact that all these models reset back to normal as soon as I step off them. Uh, I, I believe Adriel will have to fix it uh, because that should not be happening. But this thing is working now. And that means... We can... Sounds really nice. Ok, 
Okay, nice and slow. on turntable are we yeah yes that looks good chat okay I need to turn this bad boy around Almost. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, but again, the textures are a little bit too shiny. If you if you look at it, yeah, this this thing is a little bit too shiny. Okay, but, but, we can work with it. Okay, the view from, uh, from the windows is a bit terrible. They are transparent, but you can see that, yeah, they are a bit too shiny. Breaks off. Okay, we got a cab light and that's that's a bit too shiny again. And that's a front light, perfect. Okay. Let's add some power. that off not sure what that is I, I believe that might be Sander That perfect. In fact, why don't I just pair this loco? That seems to work better. Yeah, textures are a little bit too reflective. And that makes this locomotive very, very shiny. Uh, it will look pretty bad at night.
Okay, a touch of independent break. Touch more. Now we can stop. And let's have a look. At jobs that are available. Uh, I don't really want to go to steel mill. Uh, we can go to machine factory in town. That doesn't look like a bad trip. Uh, so we are currently here at Harbour in town. And we would go to machine factory. Yeah, that sounds like a good trip. What do you think, chat? I think that's gonna be a very, very good trip. Let's do this. And that's gonna give us 30 grand, roughly. Uh, I, I don't think there is any other... Yeah, there is nothing else going to Machine Factory, is it? Uh, let's have a look. Oh, there is one more. So we can take these two jobs. Ooh, that's gonna be... That's gonna be doable. Oops, uh... Okay, let's quickly identify where they are. Uh, so, uh, 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 F870, that's what we need, and FH50, okay, okay, uh, so that is chemicals, and we can pick them up. So let's start from them. There we go. Okay, that sounds good. So now uh, I need I need, I need locomotive remote. The Versa is set to forward. Okay, so that is forward for this locomotive. That is very interesting. Okay, that that doesn't go too fast, to be honest. 16 kilometers per hour on notch 2. Horn sounds really nice.
we go. That should do. Perfect. Now, uh, no, I, I, I don't need multiple units. Uh, I got only one of them. There we go. Now let's change the reverser. Perfect. Okay, so that's the first part of our consist. And the second part is here. That's gonna be a very long one. question is, chat, how much can that locomotive pull? Does it have similar statistics to the E6? Or is it worse, perhaps? slowly we are getting into night time question is do I uh, I, I think I forgot to install a mod that gives me a flashlight Now we will be working in the dark, chat. Because unfortunately I forgot to install a flashlight. Things are working well so far. So, uh, let me accept the jobs. Why? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. This is Hazmat 3.
Oh no, chat. I don't have hazmat 3. I forgot about it. Oh, this is a shame. So I accepted this job. E50. And that's the train that I got on the back. Uh, you know what, chat? I'm stealing these wagons. I I really can't be bothered to to put them back. So yeah, uh, chat. By accident, we are taking the wrong wagons to the wrong place. But well, who cares? Uh, it's it's Dere Valley. You can do whatever you want, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. There we go. Okay, we are speeding up. Uh, which... C3I. Fair enough. Uh, we will leave. Uh, the end of our consist at C3I and then we will squeeze out uh, well squeeze those wagons uh, that we took as an extra somewhere uh, as long as they are not damaged uh, the game won't really punish me for taking them so that should be alright I really should have noticed that I can't take Hazmat 3. <laughs> we are doing extra unpaid work today. The Drifter from the Hours, hello, welcome to the stream, I hope you'll have a great time today, how are you? Zeitler the Fox, hello, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Well, yes, there is a steam locomotive in the game. But it's not particularly good. Uh, but I think developers are going to fix it uh, a little bit in in the next update, uh, which will come, I don't know when. Well, I'm doing good. Uh, it's it's really warm today, so like uh, the room that I'm sitting in and, and streaming from, it's like 
Ooh. It's it's really hot today. I, I can tell you that. Okay, we are getting somewhere, although this locomotive is clearly struggling. It doesn't have necessary power. Come on, come on. A Santa Fe locomotive. Uh, no, this is... Uh, what was it? Uh, this is a slightly different model, although it is based on... Uh, on SD40-2, I believe. Uh, the model is called 664, uh, it's Yugoslavian locomotive at, at this point. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm driving today. Ooh, and that thing is clearly struggling. I'm on full throttle <laughs> and still I'm doing only 28 kilometers per hour. Oh, this is going to be a very long journey. Uh, no, wheels are not slipping. I would have heard that. And, and the locomotive started to speed up. I think there is a wheel slip indicator somewhere in this cabin. Uh, unfortunately, that's a modded locomotive, so not everything might work as intended. Uh, we are transporting various cargo to machine factory in town, which is oh, not station map, uh, world map. Uh, we are currently somewhere here, and we are heading here to machine factory. Okay, uh, what I have to say about this locomotive, it's. It definitely has some power, uh, but yeah, it, it lacks speed. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, the big boy is really nice. Nah, this is definitely not a switcher. I mean, they definitely started around 1940, uh, or somewhere around there, uh, but I'm not sure what they were actually called by rail stuff. OK, 
Okay, we are doing 48 on a 40. That's not wise. That is much better. And the switch is set correctly. <laughs> well, the name definitely fits. It was very large locomotive. Uh, to be honest, I, I can't remember if... No, I, I don't think I have a big boy uh, in Train Simulator. Uh, I've been thinking about it, uh, maybe one day, maybe one day. I can't remember what was the wheel alignment of Big Boy. I I think it was uh, different uh, than than what you posted. Oh, this thing actually overheated. Oh dear lord. Uh, chat, uh, we have a problem. There we go. Okay, so it is one of the locomotives that actually can overheat, which is nice. Now let it coast and let the engine cool a little bit. Sadly there is no indicator light, uh, so I, I didn't actually knew that we are going into overheat. Oh, okay, there is, oh, uh, there is indicator light.
Oh, that's that's my character's actual name. Okay, we are doing 70 on a 60. I'm not sure if that's a wise idea, but... It's D-Ray Valley after all. Okay, we are still on a 60. Speed limit goes up to 90. Oh, chat, I'm really pushing it, do I? Getting into 80 zone, but I will have to slow down really soon. Engine is cooling up nicely, okay. I believe that's the time. slow down yeah that's gonna be 50 Ooh. Alright chat, we are doing pretty good. Chat, we are flying it. Hmm. Union Pacific. Uh, don't they usually use uh, yellow liveries? I'm not that familiar with standard colors of different American companies. <laughs> I see.
Oops, uh, that's that's not what I need. Oh dear. Please be. Oh. Chat. That's. That's really lucky. It was a direct route to. Uh, to loading track. Oh my dear lord. I, I thought it. It's the junction that I had to switch to be on the main track and I accidentally routed my train to a side track. And that's not the station where you want to miss your correct track because as you can see all that is filled with petrol. Crashing into one of these uh, consoles it means that yeah that 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 wouldn't be good. What I almost did, uh, I, I almost, uh, well, caused a massive disaster in here. Luckily, luckily, the switch that I changed was going straight onto a loading track, which is empty. Oh dear lord. I lost a lot of momentum, but at least the train is alright. See, chat, that's why I don't like to drive. Uh, well, that's one of the reasons why American diesel or freight locomotives are not so great. Like, you don't really see much from, from the front window, and that's why I messed up. And and this is pretty much the same style uh, where, where you get... A cabin and a tiny window in front of you. Yeah, there's plenty of obstructions. I, I can't really see much. Okay, I, I think that one is set correctly. Although, I don't want to go too fast on, on that junction. Because it's limited to 30 kilometers per hour. Oh. Well, that's not a spaceship. You have to see what's outside. question is, what is that chat? That white box. I never seen that. Oh dear. Anyway, chat, the visibility is poor, uh, as I expected. 
but we'll get through it. Now we have to climb uphill. Okay, this junction is set. Yes, that's perfectly fine. I, I strongly encourage everyone to, to join my Discord and, and then you can engage in conversations. Yes, I, I, I gained some momentum and hopefully I will keep that because I want to deliver that cargo with a bonus. Unfortunately, only half of my train is worth something uh, because I messed up and I didn't realize that I don't have hazmat 3 license. Uh, and sadly I assembled the train before checking that. That's a very tight curve. I hope I am ahead of the schedule. Because I'm gonna need that bonus. go now we need to climb uphill and I got left and the right switch to do and then right the temperatures okay engine is working at normal temperatures My truck stuck on CSX railroad truck. The CSX is coming. <laughs> Dear Lord, I, I can't see much. Okay, there we go. Okay, we are now approaching the switch. Oh, this sign is pretty poorly placed. Okay, and the switch is set as it should be. Perfect. Oh, but the temperatures are getting high.
let's let it cool off a little bit uh, because we will need that extra temperature in just a moment go and we are approaching another switch and that needs to take us to the right is it yes oh can't see it can't see it okay it is taking us to the right Final stretch chat, final stretch. We are almost there. are getting into yellow zone go and now I need quickly quickly check C3I okay I know which truck I'm aiming for Okay, so that's that's gonna be yard C. That's 3i. Perfect. Okay. 
Alright chat, the question is... Oh, it doesn't fit. Okay. Uh, I, I, I made a too long train. Okay, not a problem chat, not a problem. Uh, what I need to do is to get this. Okay, chat, I need to pull this train fully into the siding. And then I need to do something with that front part of the consist, which... Which I'm not gonna get paid for. That doesn't really make me happy. Safe stop. Uh, brakes released. Uh, let's pull it. One car length. Oh dear, that's gonna take a while. There we go. Finally, chat, finally, the train is moving. Okay, we can now let it coast. And now we can stop it. Perfect. Okay, what I need to do now is uh, disconnect this one. And we are good. Uh, I can now get payment for my job. Yeah, okay. There we go. Woo. Got a nice and hefty bonus. 41,000 for a for a job, that's really good. Now I need to get rid of those front wagons, uh, which I took by accident, uh, totally. And I need to figure out where to put them. Okay, these are all... Okay, beef. What? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, there is no space in here, chat. Oh, okay, B1S. Uh, B1S is gonna be saving for me. Uh, no. Wait, there's some right there. Perfect. Yeah, you are going there, and you are going there. Beautiful. That is asking for a screenshot. There we go. 
I like it. Right, uh, let me get the remote. Beautiful. Adri, welcome back. Welcome back. As you can see, I managed to start this bad boy. Took me a while. But I got it working. It's not a bad looking locomotive, although it has few issues. I know, I know it has custom sounds. It really sounds great. Uh, but there are some issues with reflections inside the cup. Uh, so it turns out to be too bright in the day. Uh, windows are very reflective. Uh, you might want to look into that. Oh, it has dual tone. Oh, didn't knew about that. That's really nice. Uh, what else about the cabin? Oh, yes. Uh, I don't know, it, it, it just doesn't feel natural to be inside sometimes, uh, it has that weird color scheme, uh, I'm not sure if there's anything that can be done about it. Uh, also you don't have uh, like a ringing sound when, uh, when you get into... yellow zone so I managed to overheat my engine and, and got it to, to the point where it actually shut down on me uh, but I had absolutely no indication that engine is actually getting too hot uh, so you might want to put a small ring or something because indicator is obviously outside of your normal view uh, so that would be nice quality of life improvement. Uh, Railjet, uh, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, enjoy your dinner. And see you next time. Okay, hopefully everything is now just too short. Uh, yes, there is some indicator, but it's it's a bit weird because as you can see, it's flashing red, even though I'm effectively in in like a well flashing. It's it's solid red. Uh, but currently, temperature is pretty much here. Yeah, engine is cold. So 
so it's a bit counterintuitive. Other than that, uh, yeah, this plate, uh, I, I, I believe it's 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 not as it's supposed to be. It's definitely too bright. Uh, that entire radio area uh, could be filled with something because right now it has weird colors only. Uh, same goes to this side. And yes, uh, as soon as the windows are. And yeah, uh, also these gauges, I, I'm not sure if they are supposed to actually indicate something or not. Uh, that would be nice to put some arrows in it. Uh, same goes to this one. And what else? Uh, Oh yeah, and some descriptions, uh, some something that that will shed some light on what am I switching. Uh, that would be nice. Uh, I'm also not sure if any of these buttons actually work. Uh, well, you, we can flick them, but I don't know if they do something. Anyway, oh there we go. I killed the engine. go uh, okay I I think I can uh, yeah that's a bit dodgy but I think we can get away with that okay let me just disconnect you perfect uh, I know I know it would be nice if you can make that PDF into into like an in-game manual. Uh, if if you can generate those, uh, that would be nice. If you can just add that to items or, or something and, and throw a booklet somewhere on the stations, that would be very very useful. And it would fit into into how the game works. Uh, but other than that, yeah, that's. Uh, well, today I, I've been testing two really, really nice models from you, and yeah, both of them uh, look very promising. I really like the fact that they can spawn on their own, uh, so you don't have to use any mods. Uh, or, well, you do, but you don't have to use any any like cheats or or something like that to find them somewhere in the game. Uh, they they will randomly spawn. Uh, in the same places where normal locomotives uh, used to so that that really fits them into the game uh, obviously yeah both models need some work here and there but in general that that is a very solid work uh, both of them are really solid i really like the fact that 664 uh, is it uh, yeah uh, that 664 can eventually overheat uh, which is really nice uh, I if I remember correctly de6 like overheating de6 would require a lot of talent because I never done that well yes uh, but you are still doing a really really good job with uh, with those models and I, I look forward to, to check out other of your works. Uh, I remember, I think you posted those uh, unique wagons uh, on, on my Discord. Uh, I will definitely test them at some point uh, when they are released, uh, probably. Uh, because uh, you haven't put them on, on Nexus mods yet. Uh, but yeah, definitely I look forward to, to test that. And if you will have anything else that fits into the game, uh, I look forward to that. I, I definitely look forward to that. That is a solid work. Uh, both of these mods, uh, like I, I really enjoyed them. Uh, driving these locomotives was a pleasure. But well, chat, uh, same as this locomotive today, I am now overheating. I, I can tell you that. So what I'm going to do now 
is this and i i just realized that i messed up do i uh, yes i i did streamer fail i i declare that streamer fail there we go uh, that's that's much better <laughs> How did I? Oh, I I remember now, chat. I I I know why that failed. Yeah, I I'm just dumb. Uh, right. What what I did uh, during my last train driver stream, uh, I noticed that I forgot to change those boards. So I reprogrammed Stream Deck to automatically change them when I switched to a correct scene. And I forgot to change it today. So I double failed. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, <coughs> anyway, uh, let's get back to the topic. Yes, uh, chat. Same as this locomotive today. I am now overheating. It's really warm in here, uh, so I need to take a solid break. It was a pleasure to stream for you today, and I hope you enjoyed it. And see you next time. Um, before I will go, uh, as always, I will. Well, I would like to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitch if if <clears throat> if you are watching me on Twitch. And also, uh, if you are watching me on YouTube, after you subscribe, uh, you might consider to become a crew member and and get access to some emotes that you can obviously use on the chat and in the comments uh, below my content. And that is a bonus that you get with crew member status and I try to keep it uh, cheap uh, there are also other bonuses but you can read about them when you press the join button and it will display the full offer there and finally don't forget to join my discord and you can discuss uh, various different games that I play with me and other viewers that I have thanks for today and I'll catch you next time bye bye